Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Premier Football Chat. I'm just going to drop a quick review on the game that took place last night between Manchester United and Leeds United. So yeah, this game finished 2-2, so it's quite a dramatic game from the first minute to the end. So yeah, Leeds United got off to a flying start after good work down the left-hand side flank and then the ball broke to Nonto and then he managed to fire home and beat uh, David De Gea on his near post from outside the box. So yeah, it was a really good goal, this one. And yeah, Bruno Fernandes lost out on the ball. It went to VAR, but it was never a foul. Leeds got in there first and then yeah, Nonto managed to cut inside and shoot with a powerful shot from outside the box into the uh, corner. It was a really good start for Leeds United. And yeah, it was a good beginning for them in the sense that they were very organised and very compact to start off with and Man United struggled to get to terms with that at the, especially in throughout the game we were in the midfield they had Fred and Subitza which is a new partnership obviously Subitza was making his first start for Man United and yeah Fred had just come back into the side following the injury injury to Christian Eriksen and the suspension of Casemiro so yeah Fred had a good game the following weekend against Crystal Palace but in this game he kept giving the ball away and yeah he was out of position a lot and yeah didn't really make the right choices as well and it sort of made uh, other players around have to draw fouls and commit fouls and take bookings because of his uh, incompetence in the middle of the pack and yeah Leeds were quite good to, uh, in this game as well. They started really, they were very good at being a uh, frustrating Man United, time wasting a bit as well. And yeah, the Nonto is a very good player. He's only a teenager. He's, he's got a big, big future because he just constantly drives and drives at the defenders. So yeah, once I saw that it was Dallo starting at right back instead of Juan Basaka, I thought he'd get a lot of joy, uh, Nonto, and that seemed to be the case. Man United did sort of grow into the game. They had a few chances in the first half through Subitza, who managed to pull out a really good save from Melier. And uh, yeah, Man United looked to equalise, but the ball came to Garnacho. He managed to get round the keeper, and then he was about to curl the shot in, and he, he did everything right. He lifted the ball up, but yeah, Leeds managed to clear it off the line, and it was a very good uh, defensive clearance from Leeds and it looked like it wasn't going to be Man United's day. And then in the second half, Man United started slow again. Leeds had got off to a very fast start and were pressing Man United and winning the ball back and uh, causing them to make mistakes. So yeah, Leeds are very good at doing this and they've got like high energy and they've done that through the, the likes of uh, Jesse March and more no, no, notably under Marcelo Bielsa. So yeah, Leeds managed to press the ball and win the ball from Garnacho, who didn't have the, the best of games, but he's only young and he's, he's an outstanding player. And then yeah, Leeds managed to get through. And yeah, they, then Rafael Veran scored an own goal, so made it 2-0 to Leeds. And yeah, they were looking to get their first win in the Premier League at Old Trafford. And yeah, 2-0, it looked like it was going to be that way. Man United made a few substitutions, so yeah, Wakehorse came off and I think it, yeah, Sancho came off as well for Palestri and Jaden Sancho. So yeah, Jaden yeah, Jaden Sancho was outstanding in this game. He was causing Leeds a lot of problems, very skillful, and he was showing glimpses of what he could do when he was back at Dortmund. And yeah, Man United managed to score after Palestri did some good work and shielded the ball. And they played it back to Dallow, who whipped a first time cross into Rashford, who moved from the wing into the central striker position. And he scored a really good header. And yeah, Melia had no chance. And then Man United managed to make it 2 2 through very good work through Jaden Sancho, showed a bit of trickery and managed to cut inside. And Melia, he looked to be unsighted because he, he, I thought he should have saved it, to be honest, but he may, may have been unsighted. I might be a bit harsh on him in saying that but yeah Leeds still looked a threat in this game and they hit the post through a free kick as well so at a 2-1 so yeah they had a chance to make it 3-1 and they just caused Man United quite a few problems and yeah they meet each other again on Sunday I think Leeds will be happy with a point because obviously they, they've not got a manager and they've come into a very difficult place in Old Trafford where they've not had a good re record so they probably would have taken a point before the game but having gone 2 0 up, they may have thought, yeah, three points dropped potentially. And yeah, Man United obviously would have expected to win this game. 
but having been 2 0 down, you fight it back against a rival, get 2 2. Yeah, so the proper set up for a point is not ideal for them, but yeah, they move on to play each other at Ellen Road on Sunday, so it should be a rocking atmosphere at Ellen Road. Leeds fans will be bringing it, and yeah, it's a massive game for both sides, so we'll see how they get on. Yeah, let me know what you thought of the game, and uh, yeah, hit the like button and subscribe and peace out enjoy the day i'll be dropping a prediction video as well